Core Concepts for Open Architecture AV Design Chapter 6 Control Numbers Control numbers are a very important concept when using the Open Architecture DSPs in the Composer series. Please use the video controls to navigate this chapter and take as much time as you need. The learning objective for this chapter are to define control numbers and understand their relationship to parameter control within a composer-based system. Calculate control values for faders, buttons, radio buttons, and selectors. Use the Edit Remote Control Assignment window to add control numbers, edit control assignments, enable disable push, and control number linking. Configure externally controlled parameters to automatically transmit their control values whenever they change. Use parameter linking to allow multiple objects using the same control number to remain linked regardless of how their values are changed. Nearly any parameter, such as volume and buttons, within Composer can be assigned a control number. Composer uses control numbers to identify which parameter to adjust based on the control command issued by the remote control device. Any device, such as a smartphone, laptop, or iPad that has the ability to send control commands across a network or via RS-232 may be used as a remote control. Symmetrix manufactures three different series of remote controls. The ARC series, the W series, and the T series of touch screens. In this example, a fader is assigned a control number and has a range of control value from plus 12 to minus 72. Plus 12 has a value of 65535, and minus 72 has a value of 0. Use the control value to make fader adjustments in 1 dB increments. First, calculate the total number of steps between 0 and 65535. 1 dB increments would be 84 steps. Divide 65535 by 84, which equals approximately 780. Therefore, a 1 dB increment is a control value of 780. External control devices use assigned control numbers to change parameters within Composer. Nearly any parameter can be assigned a control number. All control numbers have a range of values from 0 to 65535. Rather than a fader, a button can be used to control values. Since a button is either an on or off state, no calculations are necessary. When the button is off, the control value is zero and the channel is unmuted. When the button is on and is red, the control value is 65535 and the channel is muted. Radio buttons and selectors are similar to faders when calculating control values. The value is a percentage, based on the number of steps on a scale from 0 to 65535. In this example, input one of the four channel input selector is 0% with a value of 0. Input 2 is 33.333% with a value of 21845. Input 3 is 66.667% with a value of 43690. Input 4 is 100% with a value of 65535. To assign a control number, right-click on the object and choose Auto Assign Next and Used Control Number. A control number may be auto-assigned or a specific control number can be selected and assigned. To assign a specific control number, right-click the object and select Edit Remote Control Assignments. The Edit Remote Control Number Assignment window is used to add control numbers, edit control assignments, enable disable push, or control number linking. The Manually Enter Number Radio button is selected automatically. To edit the control number assignment, change the number here from 1 to 10,000. To enable push, simply check the box. Then select OK. In this example, the fader is control number 5 assigned. Pressing Alt plus M on the keyboard will superimpose the control number on the fader, which gives a visual reference of the control number on the assigned control. 
Open the Remote Control Manager from the Tools menu and select the Control Numbers tab. This tab lists all assigned control numbers. The description, module, unit, control number, push, and link information is displayed. Control numbers can also be assigned using the All Controls tab of the Remote Control Manager window. This tab displays all items in the site file that may have assigned control numbers. Filters can be applied to narrow the search. In this example, a control number is reassigned to the mute button of the game module that had been assigned to the fader control. Use the filter to select the game module. Select the input 1 mute button from the list and select Setup Remote Control. Assign the next control number automatically from the Setup Remote Control window or specify the number to be assigned. Then select OK. Control can also be assigned to local analog inputs, control signals, or arcs from this window. The mute button has now been assigned control number 2. Select the Control Numbers tab. The Mute button now has an additional listing in Control Numbers. All externally controlled parameters can be configured to automatically transmit their control values whenever they change. This push of data can be used instead of, or in addition to, requesting data. Control values are sent out over RS-232 and Ethernet. Parameter linking allows multiple objects using the same control numbers to remain linked as their values are changed. For example, when two faders are both assigned to control number 5, when the control value of control number 5 changes, both faders will move, and their control values will stay in sync. If the control numbers are not linked and one of the faders is moved via composer or via a preset recall, the other will not automatically update and they will be out of sync. To set up parameter linking between two controls, assign each control the same control number. Or, highlight the control on the Control Numbers tab, select Manage, then select Edit Assignment. Select the link with similar assigned control radio button and set the desired control from the drop-down menus. Then select OK. To summarize this chapter, external control devices use assigned control numbers to change parameters within Composer. Use faders, buttons, radio buttons, and selectors to calculate control values. The Edit Remote Control Assignment window is used to add control numbers, edit control assignments, enable or disable push, or control number linking. All externally controlled parameters can be configured to automatically transmit their control values whenever they change. And finally, parameter linking allows multiple objects using the same control number to remain linked, regardless of how their values are changed.